This is the biggest obstacle to rescue operations in earthquake hit areas. Huge chunks of rocks fallen from the mountains block roads. We stop here while the army warn against the danger of further rock slides. After six hours on the road, we finally make it to Tlatin Yaqub, a village 90 kilometers south of Marrakesh. A frantic search is underway for those still trapped under the rubble. Mohammed Etigral lost nine members of his family in the earthquake. It breaks my heart. I lost my daughter. She was very young. Her children are gone. We're waiting for one other. Let's pray he's alive. Mohammed's grandchild was retrieved. A lifeless body, a life taken too soon. He will be buried near his parents in the village cemetery. These doctors from the city of Casablanca are volunteering to help victims. We are dealing mainly with victims of trauma. People suffering serious injuries when buildings collapsed on them. We treat minor injuries in makeshift clinics here, but critical ones are sent to the city. The army has reached here, delivering aid, setting up makeshift clinics and helping the rescue operation. This is one of many cases which illustrate the delicate task ahead for the rescuers, medical teams and the authorities. This lady is going to be now flown to the city of Marrakesh where she is going to be treated and the army is deploying its helicopters to the epicenter of the earthquake and all the villages which were affected by the quake. It's a race against time to find people still trapped under the rubble. Hashim Ahbarra, Al Jazeera, Tlatin Yaqub, south of Marrakesh. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.